let's move right on. Should we go reverse alphabetical order? Because we always go alphabetical. Should we switch it up today? Sure. Wow. Let's switch it up. Really changing it up here. Yeah. I'm all thrown off. I don't know what to do now. Uh, probably just scroll down to the bottom of your Word document and figure it out. <sighs> scrolling. My fingers hurt now. <laughs> We're going to start with Vancouver. What's up, guys? Early on in the podcast, Vancouver. We're going first. I'm sending it straight to Connor Wright to start us off. So originally, I thought we were going to do Vancouver last, and I saved a nice little surprise. Well, not really surprise, but a nice little uh, pick for Vancouver for the end for Adam's favorite team, one of their current players now. Um, he's not really a big household name, but I went with Spencer Ritchie. That's a good and shout. That's a good shout. Fair. Um, so Andrew and I have a close friend who is an FCC fan, so – we know a lot about FCC. We, we hear a lot about updates, who their players are. So we, we know we're pretty familiar with Spencer Ritchie. So when I saw that he actually had some game time in MLS before Cincinnati, I was like, wow, that's surprising me. I didn't know that. So um, he had to be my pick for this one, even despite the fact that he's not really like a big name within the league or obviously worldwide. And I believe he only played one game ever for them. But that qualifies. Mm -hmm. It does. I remember he filled in that one game for David Ousted when he was out. And, like, he, he, went, he went off that game. And he automatically became, like, Twitter famous because he made some, like, clever tweet. And that's the only reason I knew, I knew that he played there because I remember that tweet. I got to look it up. But good shout, Connor. Way to start us off. Adam? Um... A bunch of my picks are – obviously, I'm not a fan of every team in the league as as much as I try to be on multiple hype trains, and I'll be the first <laughs> to obviously admit that. Um, so my – a bunch of my picks were players that I don't associate with playing there. Um, they may have only been there for a season or two and not necessarily made a whole bunch of appearances – um, but they're players that I usually – like, when I think of them, I don't think of the club I picked them for, if that makes okay. sense. Um, and then the other criteria I used is uh, they have to be playing – they have to have played for a current MLS team. So what I mean is I didn't pick anyone that used to play for, like, the Dallas Burn or the Metro Stars. Like, they have to have played for the Red Bulls or for FC Dallas or – Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Um, but for Vancouver, I picked Diego Kobayashi um, because I only think of him as playing for New England. Yep. Did not know he played in Canada. Um, it was only for a season. Granted, he played pretty much every game that season. Uh, I think 30, 31 games, two goals. But, I mean, if you say the name Diego Kobayashi, I picture him in that Revs kit. All right, all right. So, so my disclaimer, the, I tried and focused on players that I didn't know played there, but for, player, for super fans of these teams, some of these players might be super obvious. We are sorry in advance. Mm. As Adam said, we don't follow them as closely as everybody else does. As much as we try to, I, I, you know, I, there was a time where I knew basically every player in the league. Like, it wasn't a shock. But then I turned 14 and actually had to, like, start living. So, um, this is the only pick for me that I really don't remember playing for the team, but his resume made it kind of stick out that a lot of people, maybe not the only player, but um, one of a few players who had a very good international resume and might have been forgotten elsewhere. Um, my pick for Vancouver was... Leon Kiao, who spent time at PSV, Spurs, and Dortmund, got Korea to fourth in the 2002 World Cup mm -hmm. and played 65 times for uh, Vancouver in 2012 and 13. They finished 11th and 13th, but I wasn't really around there, and I didn't realize, like, he, I have to think that at that time, what was it, 2012-13, he was one of the more high-caliber players in MLS, right, it, in terms of international resume. So... I had to have, you know, I had to assume that that was probably a good shout that a lot of people not Vancouver relate, you know, not Vancouver tied didn't remember him being there. 
That's fair. I remember I've watched him play at Dortmund uh, early. I don't even remember what year, but he was he was pretty good from what I at least from what I remember. Mm-hmm. He couldn't save Vancouver though. I mean that's that's a tough why task. We, that's why we have Ali Adnan. <laughs> See, see, the reason we're doing this, out of the way early. by the way, is so we can get all of his all of his comments out of the way early. All right. Well, this leaves FCC late, so it won't be that early. We what we need to do is just get all of Adam's bogey teams out like the first. Yeah, first that's three, the, three just teams, immediately, and then go from there. <laughs>